we got the last moon rock moon. That was it, man. Ends not with a bang, but with a hammer to the face. Which I suppose could result in a bang, ultimately. So before, like I said, before I go just talking, gallivanting over to Mario Park and talking to Takatu, we got ourselves a clown outfit to change into. And then, and Dan, and Dan, and Dan. Hello. Gosh, I already did, I got both monitors, so I don't have to worry about that. Clown outfit is going to be back this way, right? Right? Oh, I guess not. I guess it was further in. Clown outfit. Wait, am I just, am I just going crazy? I'm looking for a rainbow wig. Has anyone seen... No, wait, it's the clown hat. There he goes, the party hat. I was looking for, like, the rainbow wig in the actual thing, but... That's not what it's about, man. It's about these floppy shoes and the face paint! Oh, gosh, this still might be my favorite outfit. I just... some <laughs> Something I love about it. Don't look at me like that, Judgy McJudgerson. Which of these looks best on me? Have you tried the clown outfit? You're missing out, is all I'm saying. I'd love to see one of those Lake Lamode ladies in this clown attire. It would just be strange. Oh, sorry. Sorry, bench friend. I just kind of rolled over your toes a little bit. <laughs> and that's the last he ever saw of his bench friend rolling past, dressed as a clown, and just stomping on his toes. Like he's Luigi in Mario Tennis or something. How you doing, friendo? But wait, you're a clown, huh? Hilarious! <laughs> All you have to do is be a clown. That's pretty good. Didn't even have to tell him a joke or nothing. Awesome. Surprise clown, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm still laughing about it. I mean, I'm still here. That's probably why. Once I leave, I'm not, I'm not so sure. He might just hang out there laughing for the rest of his days, which, you know, I mean, more power to him. If you've just seen this bright face paint and these floppy shoes is all he needs, I'm more than happy to oblige. All right, let me go ahead. I was gonna change, but you know what? I'll rock the clown outfit for a little longer. It is a really fun one. What do you got for me to talk to? Down inside the big screen, okay. I've got an idea about what that could be. Up on the big screen. Hmm, now I'm not as sure. And powering up the power plant. Oh, okay, I mean, at least that one, I know the general vicinity of it. Is the big screen, like, one of these things? Like, one of these billboards or something? I'm not entirely sure about that. The fact that there's two moons in relation to the big screen makes me wonder if it's a small world somewhere that I'm not, uh, not currently privy to. So we'll have to see. Did you see the big shoulders on that football outfit, dude? It was just, it was just kind of striking. With the, with the sleek music hat and the, like, the slim hat and the broad shoulders. It was a little, a little startling for a second. Okay, now that I'm all dialed up again, though. Oh, thanks, pal. At least I didn't roll over your toes this time. So the power plant is down yonder way. Not yonder way, that's something else. And we head on down. And down, and down, and down. This is really not the most efficient place to have a power plant, is all I'm gonna say. Powering up the power plant. So we gotta get back in there, I assume. Like, back all the way in there. So do we just have to go through this again? Is that really all there is to it? Alright, so in here now... What do you say? Exit's over here. Exit stage right. As they might say. New Donk City Power. I can capture the power block, this power node. Oh, oh, so we gotta get the plug. I see. You gotta line up the plug nice and neatly on that thing. Something like this. Did I really just do that? Just like, without us breaking a sweat? You better believe it. I'm really good at these sorts of puzzles. Hell yeah, my man. Light her up. Powering up the power plant. They're real cheering me on too. They're so happy about it. Never mind, thanks for the help, pal. I didn't even hear what you guys had to say the first time. Time to head home. 
you guys are workers here? You're really, you're not dressed the part. You really should have a, a little more safety gear than that if you're going to be working with these giant ass power cables. Especially when there's piranha plants lurking about that could bite into them and cause all sorts of weird damage. You never know, my dude. You never do know. So what is it? Down inside the big screen and up on the big screen are the two remaining moons. Like, I feel like the screens, like the only ones I know of, it's like this sort of thing, right? Crazy cap. I mean, I see, I see this, the little C copyright mark is a symbol of a moon, kind of. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this one, so you know what? Since I'm not sure, let's give the Hint Toad his one last do. He's helped us quite a bit throughout this adventure, too. And we haven't given him a proper send-off yet, so... I think he can at least point us in the right direction to this big screen. See what that's all about. He was right up here, right? I think he's in this vicinity. He might actually have been... back. No, he's over here, okay. Hanging out over here with Uncle Amiibo. How you doing, Uncle Amiibo? Having trouble finding power moons? I can help you out. For 50 coins. Wink. Wanna buy a hint? One last time. Marked it on your map with minus, so take a look. Okay, it was not anywhere in the vicinity that I was looking, so... Good to... Good on me for checking that hint, I guess. Would have been able to track it down eventually, I'm sure, but this just... Makes things a little bit smoother for everyone involved. Okay, so it's like somewhere over on that building, the one that Peach is on, actually, interestingly enough. Can I make that jump? Yeah, I just landed it. I just got up here. So, something to do the big screen in this vicinity. I'm not so sure that I'm understanding. Is it like, can I head inside this building? Because I don't think this building was open the first time. I can head inside. Oh, there's there's a whole big line up here. What is going on? Anyone care to elucidate the information here? Wait, the theater's playing one of the all-time greats right now. Oh, hell yeah, dude! I didn't realize this was no theater. I kind of had a little hunch once I realized the building was open. No way. Is this, is this really the last, like, two moons? It is. This, what a fitting friggin' conclusion to the Metro Kingdom. This is... Really? I'm so snazzy, dude. I'm so snazzy. Oh my god. It really is. Friggin'. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Unbelievably, I did not see this one coming. I honestly, truly didn't. All right, we gotta play this like it's like it's the real Mario, freaking game. We can't we can't be heading left. No left in this one. Is there? There's the invisible block here. Don't don't cheat me. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, I will head left. Just gonna want to like head down this pipe. Oh, there you go. That's our secret moon down under. I love this. They reward you for like knowing the knowing the ins and outs of level one one. This is so cool. That's not where the, that original pipe led up. Just for the record, that's all I'm gonna say. Get okay, grab that right there. Oh no! All right. Thank thankfully, I can take four more hits and still be okay. Or five more hits, really. Well, five five more and I'm dead, but you know what I mean. Jelly bean. And that one, I think this one had a star in it the, in the first time, so I mean, I mean, they can't give us a star, obviously. So there are no invincibility stars in this game. This is just so... <laughs> it's simple, but elegant and fun. And I love that they play it off as, like, a movie, too. One of these has, like, a bunch of coins in it or something. I might have already walked past it, to be honest. Am I gonna get all the moon shards from this level alone? It's, it's hard. I mean, I probably am. I'm up to three now. I was like, maybe they'll make me play through 1-2 as well. Doesn't seem like that's gonna happen, though. Would've been kinda funny. 
Or if they just made you play through the whole of the, the whole friggin' original game. Obviously can't head down there. And we just gotta make this last jump to the flagpole or the would-be flagpole. That's the one. I am so fucking in love. Can I go not go in the castle? Please? Please just let me let me in for 1-2. Where are you? Alright, I guess we'll head down this way. To be continued in the sequel. 1-2. Under under Earth. Up on the big screen. That's the one, man. Yeah. Clap for me one more time, friends. Clap for me one more time. Standing ovation. And that is about as fitting of a conclusion to the Metro Kingdom as I think I could offer. There you go. All done and dusted. So let's go ahead. Now. Now now comes a couple of things that I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go. So what am I up to here? A little over an hour. I can keep going, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm full of energy and like excitement and anxiety and every, all sorts of different emotions I'm feeling right now. I'm just going to have such a good time with this game and I can feel it. I can feel it winding to a close. Or, or reach, at least reaching some sort of climactic final end point. End game, I guess you could call it, honestly. You know, forget Avengers end game. We're talking Argon Matrix Mario Odyssey end game. That's the real blockbuster today. Head off to another kingdom? Not yet. I would like to change my outfit first. <laughs> I made that sound a little more dramatic than it probably could have. What do I want to change into? That's a good question. You know what? I'm probably not going to rock this any other time, so let's just go ahead. Let's have some fun with this bad boy. I'm feeling nostalgic after that romp through World 1-1. <laughs> he doesn't even move. It's, oh my god. This is actually a little... Like, a little more challenging. Because, like, the hitbox is different and, like... You don't see Mario's movement. This is a little. This is weird, dude. <laughs> Do a little flip. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about this one. We'll rock it for a little bit for sure. But I, <laughs> I might have to change it up because that's just ridiculous. All right. So what are we doing next? We are heading to the Moon Kingdom because there's one moon left up here, and we know now what it is. It is in the form. Of Princess Peach. Well, I don't think the moon itself is going to take the form of Princess Peach, although I would like to see that, how that would play out. Where is she going to be in this one, do you think? I get the distinct sense that she's probably going to be over by the chapel. But I could be wrong. Just take a look around here. See what all we got. Oh my god, the freaking moon gravity with this outfit. <laughs> this outfit. I just cannot handle it. I really can't. We're warping over to the wedding hall. I don't even mind. Would she be inside the wedding hall by any chance? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it seems like it would be fitting, but she hasn't been inside a building in any of these other ones. That's all I'm saying. There's also this. I mean, this is just... Shouldn't there be a painting here? Yeah. Huh. So I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, anything, but... You got clean up covered. Man, this place is cleared out. Was it this empty before when I came through here? I think it actually was. Oh my god. The friggin' roll. The roll with this 8-bit outfit. <laughs> the, the fact that it's stationary is a little disappointing, admittedly. But also just too hilarious. Alright. I don't know how entertaining this is going to be to watch me just like womp, romp around trying to locate Princess Peach. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut to when I do eventually find her. Is that a bonitor? No, that's, that's just a rock. <laughs> Sorry, they look so similar from, from that vantage point. At any rate, yeah, I'll be back in a jiffy once I found this girl. Oh, there she is. I just had to go a little bit higher up on the wedding chapel. She's hanging out by the bell. I don't want to greet her as a frog. I kind of don't want to greet her as my 8-bit self either. She might be a little bit put off by this, but uh, 
How are you doing, my girl? Oh gosh, didn't mean to ring the bell. <laughs> How beautiful. Not your outfit, our entire world right there in front of us. I wonder where Bonneton is. It must look so small from here. Probably can't even see it, to be honest, yeah. Oh, and this power moon came flying in from outer space. Would you like it? You can't, don't even give me the option to say no? Oh my god, I can't take this outfit much longer, you guys. It's so freaking silly. I've been away for quite a while. I should head back before anyone starts to worry. Oh, it's for, too late. I got some bad news for you, princess. Oh my god. Uh, all right, I gotta land in order to actually warp here. Well, that's the last one from the, uh, from the Moon Kingdom, right? That still does leave this, this painting unaccounted for. What is this? Is, is this available now that I've, like, gotten every moon in the kingdom? Or is this something that's gonna reveal itself even later and just doesn't have anything to do with the moon? Because, I mean, this, this other one doesn't have anything to do with the moon. This is just to refight Bowser if I want to. This one. Can't, couldn't tell you. Really couldn't. Literally could not. Just bust past that marble wall and we'll make our way over to the Mushroom Kingdom where the only few remaining moons that we have remain. <laughs> the only few remaining moons remain. What an eloquent speaker I am. And you guys haven't come to expect eloquence and loquaciousness out of loquaciousness, actually. <laughs> I mean, case in point, using the word loquaciousness. Hopefully you haven't come to expect too much of that out of me. A sizable vocabulary? Yes, I am most erudite, but... Beyond that... Stumbling over my words left, right, and center. Alright. Mushroom Kingdom. Here we are. No better place to end it. I mean, it looks like this kingdom's got lots of visitors. Yeah, this has actually changed quite a bit. Need that everyone... Wait, what does he say? Need that everyone from everywhere is here. Look at this and that. It's so pretty here. Man, they got quite a festival going on. Are there mushrooms here? Tasty. Maybe we'll go for a swim later. All visitors are welcome at the castle. Even this, this well, it's a little UFO guy from the moon. That's so sweet. You know what? I can't. I just can't. I know I've only been rocking this outfit for a little bit, but I feel like I'm. I'm. I feel like I'm about to show up to like a to like a formal event, like a ballroom party, wearing. A t-shirt that says like meme lord on it or something so let's just go ahead let's let's put on our old duds it's been a while since we've actually rocked this classic Mario cap and suit I know there's other outfits that we have not yet worn we haven't given their full glory but it's just just fitting right to show up to the mushroom kingdom here whatever else we got I know there's a bunch of toadette moons to claim and there's probably one from Princess Peach as well, let me talk to her. Beyond that, there's still one other moon unaccounted for that I can't quite fathom. Is that Tiara hanging out up there? It is Tiara up there. Is Peach up there with her? Hold on, I, I gotta go... I gotta go talk to her. Wait, hold on, you have something to say. We came with a friend, but I must say he's been quite scamp. He's gone off and hit on us. There's really a Bonitor. I wonder if there's a Bonitor in this kingdom somewhere, hiding on someone's friggin' head. That's just hilarious. Let's go make our way up to, uh, to the balcony up here. See what Tiara is all about. Oh, that, there is Princess Peach up here. Dressed in her regal best. Would you expect any less? My travels with Tiara were wonderful. So many memories. And I realized something. How important it is to see different things and talk with different people. That no matter what kingdom you're in, people smile, though with the same little sparkle. We have to do what we can with our time to put smiles on as many faces as possible. So I've decided to invite people from all over the world to the castle. Our travels were just wonderful, so many smiling faces. No thanks to me for giving them world peace. Hint, hint. I picked up one last power moon as a souvenir for you. I hope you enjoy it. You just buy this one from the shop? That's not special. Princess Peach is home again. Thank you, girl. You're still on your third journey, though, right, Mario? Cappy? Good luck out there. Such a big world, so much to see and do. Ain't that the truth? Thank you for the 33 coins. I'm gonna need them. Where I'm going, I'm gonna need lots of coins. Possibly. 
Does one of you have a monitor? Hi there, Cappy. No, pay no, no acknowledgement to Mario. I mean, it is kind of cute to see see them say like hello to Cappy like that. One second there, Toad. I'm just making sure that none of these Toads have a random monitor on their head. All right. We've achieved something new. We should have everything now, because I've gotten five monitors. Even though there is one more remaining in this kingdom. At any rate, cue that friggin' montage one last time, big baby. Oh gosh, I didn't realize that was the last one actually, there was only a few there. Mario, you're amazing. You've achieved everything out there there is to achieve. The only one that put you over the top was Moon Rock the one that put you over the top was Moon Rock Liberator. So here's my very last power moon. Enjoy it. Thank you, Toadette. You are such a sweetheart. That's our last six power moons from you. You're so accomplished. <laughs> and another 33 coins on top of it. I'll take it. Alright, so that's everything. Barring one rogue monitor. Somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. What in the heck? Oh gosh, she's got a different outfit! <laughs> And guess what? She turns out she went on a world tour just for fun. She told me all about it, so I'm glad our princess had a lovely time. She just wear a different outfit every, like, every day or something? That's kind of funny. This is Yoshi's favorite food! Okay, well, yeah. Fair enough. I love fruit that sings with fresh flala levers! Alright, what, what did this guy say about his, uh, his friend? It might give us a little hint here. It must be somewhere likely riding someone's head. Well, yeah, I mean, come on. Goes without saying. I mean, the most concentrated group of people is in this, uh, this section over here. Toad Brigade runs the store. Good on you guys. I wonder where Luigi found those great balloons. Riding the motor scooter is a great way to see the sights. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Is there someone hiding? I mean, this is kind of a weird last moon to be seeking out, but... You know what, it, at least it is in the Mushroom Kingdom, gives us one last chance to sort of see the sights around here. One of you, ladies? Jump her challenges in Metro Kingdom is zippy. Wait, what is it? The jump her challenge in our Metro Kingdom is zippy skippy. <laughs> That's cute. You simply must try each volleyball in the Seaside Kingdom. I've already gone and conquered that one, don't you worry. I don't jump or do volley, or volley but I do follow those sports on the ranking boards. <laughs> well, we must have... Must have a fan here, I guess, then. Anal analyzing tree branch or tail. Tree branch or tail. The eternal question. With cyclical soaking, the tree will develop 1.25% more efficiently. You get right on that, buddy. I'm learning to water plants from a true master. <laughs> That's your next game. Captain Toad's water... Plant watering adventure. Can't wait. Racers are even more fun on the secret course. Those bouncy races you hold in the Snow Kingdom are impressive. I mean, everyone's just getting along in this place. I'm so in love with this. This is such a cool, like, little send-off. Malfunction. Cannot predict pattern of sheep perambulation. <laughs> Seems easier to hold sand than to hold sheep. You're not lying. This guy can't hold sheep to save his life. We'll leave him to it. What are you rocking out to over here? What boss was this? These towers, what's with them? They're everywhere! <laughs> If you headed inside, you really probably shouldn't, honestly. So tall, so towering, so suspicious. That one actually might be the one that has a uh, knuckle tech in it. I finally remember his name. I kept calling him, I've been calling him Olmec for the longest time. His name is actually Knuckle Tech. What are you guys doing? Wonder how far down this thing goes. Only one way to find out. This well has got to lead somewhere. Yeah, I remember, I remember well what's in there. Hardy har har. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. This guy seemed a little conspicuous. Just a little bit. How'd you find where I was hiding? I thought this spot was pretty clever, too. I mean, you should have hidden on someone other than a toad. He's like the one I anticipated it being on. Don't tell anyone I'm here, please. Here's a gift for keeping it quiet. Our last friggin' one. Well, sort of. This kingdom. Such peace and quiet. I mean, that clears out... Every kingdom. Let's take, let's take a look here. This is the Cat Kingdom. Just just to see. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. 
embarrassingly. But no, Rune Kingdom, Bowser's, Moon Kingdom, and Dark Side. He was only one kingdom unaccounted for. The Acorn Kingdom. This guy's got it right. They gotta be acorns, for sure acorns. Or are they mushrooms or what? Watch out for Goombas in the woods below. I'm pretty sure they're chestnuts, you guys. <laughs> Just saying. We gotta finish our little tour of the kingdom here, though. See what everyone's up to. We're like two pearls in a pod. That's not really how the expression goes, but all I mean, it was more like per two pearls in a clam or an oyster, wouldn't you say? How I adore traveling. It's even better with my best friend. <laughs> these two gals. There's so, there's some untold story going on with these ones. I love that when they just like hint at a little, at a little bit of the wider world like that. That's adorable. Anyone actually hanging out in these Goomba woods or just uh just the Goombas? Fine by me. What are you saying here? I only wish you had some marshmallows to toast. The captain went to the shop. Yeah, I think I already spoke to Captain Toad over at the shop. If I recall, always drive safely. These motor scooters are so cool. Dude, your feet won't even reach the pedals. <laughs> this is, these toads got no legs to speak of. Improving the utility of my sprinkle technique. You know, I could always use a little more sprinkle technique in my life, so I can respect that. And did you see that lizard rabbit running around? It's adorable. The garden is right. It's just exquisite. It's so well maintained. <laughs> Man, this guy's getting the recognition he deserves and everything. We've really done some good stuff around this place. I'm just so happy to see it all come together. Wait, what is he saying? It took me a while a while to get over seeing that the first time. I heard what's I heard what's in there. Have you seen it yet? I've seen it, baby. I've lived it. You better believe it. And we've come full circle at last. I might have missed a couple people here and there. That's all right, though. We'll leave them to their own lives, their own devices. And go ahead and dump our last few moons in here. Let's see what we're up to now. 961. Seems like a very random number to, like, end things on. But don't. But remember, I did, like, if I, like, check the list here. Not for, I think it would be the Mushroom Kingdom list. Like the shopping one, I have I've gotten like yeah, I bought eighty four from here, <laughs> so that's just kind of that's kind of why the number is skewed a little bit. So, I have been given a tip, because obviously, far as I know, there's only really one thing left to do. I also do have like Twitter hint arts to do, but I'm probably gonna save that for like a bonus video after everything else is said and done. Um, but darker side looms large over our heads. I've been informed by my good buddy in the comments, Wario Land Gold Pyramid, who's watching out for me to have the best experience here with Mario Odyssey, is that I should buy enough moons to get up to 996 power moons before heading to Darker Side. What exactly that means, I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, I mean, I can make a few guesses, I suppose. But let's go ahead and do that. So I am up to, I want to make sure I buy the right amount here. So let me double check. I'm at 961. So I need to buy 35. Is that correct? 30 would bring me up to 991. 5 would bring me up to 996. I just want to make sure I'm not doing the math wrong in my head. That would be embarrassing and be a total waste here. So we have enough money to buy 35. So let's go ahead and do it. Is this what you wanted? Buy 10, baby. <laughs> And we're going to have to go through a bit of a painful process of buying five individual ones. It's going to be a little hilarious, but uh, I'll do it. If it's if it's going to improve my overall experience here, which I, I assume it will in some capacity, I'll do it. I'm all for it, man. Buy another 10. Another one. Another 10. Another 10. DJ Khaled. All the way, baby. Once more with feeling, except it's not going to be once more. All right, so this is 30. Got to buy five more. And then there's and then there's really only one thing left on our list. Am I going to do it in this recording session? I don't think so, because I feel like, I don't know, the dark side, I don't know if it's just in my head that it's been amped up. I don't think anyone's, no one said anything about it in the comments. Other than, like, I've seen, like, one person say, like, it's the final challenge that we all know is looming, but, I mean, I assumed it was going to be the final challenge, really. 
I assume it's going to be like one hell of Grandmaster Galaxy-esque sort of level. Champions Road, that sort of final frontier challenge that Mario games are so, uh, so, like, famous for. Like, each every, every 3D Mario game, just since, like, really since, like, I guess Mario Galaxy has had one that's, like, designed in this sort of way. That's like uh, one final challenge. Once you've proven your medal everywhere else, it's like, I mean, did Mario Galaxy like one have that, or was it just Mario Galaxy two? I know Mario Galaxy one had like the green star trials. I remember those; those were pretty challenging, but they weren't like the end game necessarily. They were something you could do towards the end of the game, but they weren't. Uh, I think I remember like the like the thing you did for the end at the end of Mario Galaxy one. It was like you go through the Mushroom Kingdom, and that's just kind of one like last little hurrah and the celebration of things. So I think that's how that went. So maybe it's only been like this since Mario Galaxy 2, I don't know. Regardless, 3D Mario games, by and large, have a uh, reputation for having at least one extremely hard level each. And I can only assume that Darker Side is the one. So, 996, there it is. Next time on Super Mario Odyssey, we head off to Darker Side and, uh, and whatever that might entail. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a blast. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.